fill it in with bubble wrap there and there. There and there. There and there. It's like this now. See? Isn't Eve cute? <laughs> Hello you crafty pigs, gonna do some crafty doings. So a little while ago I made a, a tiny gizmo and um, a few people said, could you make a critter? Could you make a critter? Can I make a critter? Actually, yes, I can make a critter. That's what I'm doing today. Um, I don't know if you're aware of the film, Critters. Um, I'm gonna make one of these critters. I've already made some eyes balls. It's the eyes balls that I've made, which were some old eyes balls I had from a little while ago. They used to be in my life-size um, did from Lost Boys. The guy who made me that gave me some new eyes that were better. So I just had some old eyes. So I painted them red, then the little black bits I just used the Sharpie, and then I glossed over them with this stuff. Delta Creative Varnish. And it makes them look all shiny, just like real eyes. It's always a problem for me when I'm making these sort of creatures and stuff. How do I make eyes? How do I make eyes? So I've just noticed the reflection in the telly. You can see the Christmas tree. Because now it is still Christmas, but when you're watching this, it won't be still Christmas. And hopefully we'll, um, we'll have moved on from the tears of the fall variety, which are horrific. And hopefully you're having a nicer time. Anyway, let's make a critter using and my favourite, Super Scopey! Super Scopey! Should bring camera around here now, I guess, to get this perspective. Oh, you're here, are you? Oh, yeah, so we've come from this angle, never been here before. Let's get it open. If you don't know what Super Sculpey is, it's some sort of clay stuff that you bang in the oven for 15 minutes at 135 degrees. Kind of dries like rock hard plastic, that's how I describe it. The hardest thing is to open it. I'm still quite new to sculpting, um, but I do use Potter Select. These are the paint brushes I use, and I use acrylic paints. Delta Creative, you can see I use a lot, a lot because they're a bit bashed in. That'll do. I don't know what you might do, but what I might do is I roll it out first with this. It's good, isn't it? It's going well. You've got to really massage it so you can manipulate it a bit. So I've flattened it out, it kind of looks like that now, just on some tin foil, and I'll build on this. See the, um, the face is done. There's the face, now I need to do the hands and the feet. Just gonna pop them in the oven for 15 minutes. Uh, 135 degrees. So, um, as you can see, the head is out, it's all hard. A couple of teeth fell off, so I just hot glue gun them on. And he's look, it looked like he was gonna crack here. So I just glue gunned that. I've glue gunned his eyes in in his eyes and maybe I should have painted it first but we do these things don't we get excited now I'm going to make his hands and his feet his body will be made out of bubble wrap always and then cover him in fur simple and the horrible let's make the hands as you can see they look a little bit like chicken feet don't they? <laughs> Put a bit of wire inside as well so I can attach it to um, the body. It's just like modeling wire, I think. Just making the feet, these, these are feet. They don't look like feet, but they will do. Don't know what I'm doing, just back up as I go along, as always. Me bits and particles now that all out of the oven be chicken feet. Look like, look like little chicken feet, don't they? Now I'm gonna paint them. The fun part, bit of painting. You know what I'm using? I'm using Delta Creative. It's not a very good package shot, is it? That, that I'm missing, not missing that out, aren't we already? Let's paint. I'm now using my old friend, the bubble wrap. Well, it's not actually my friend, because that'd be madness. To make the body, I'm using bubble wrap. Just simple bubble wrap. Bit of 
Jean said. There and there. He's like this now. See? Isn't he cute? He's so cute. Got to cover him in fur now. And then I will darken the fur a little bit because this is a bit light. And um, add some grey bits here and here. So now I will cover him in fur using glue gun. Oosh! Again, the glue gun is very hot. Be careful with the shovel around because you might say flip! Ow! Flip! Oh! Man's best friend and a lady's best friend too. You can see he's all covered in fur now. I'm just gonna colour it a bit darker and put some grey bits in it as well. Bit of painting some fur, it's a bit weird, isn't it? And there you have it, a critter from the film Critters, made out of bubble wrap, super skull paint, painted with acrylic paints, covered in fur, I found on the floor. Oh, he's drunk, he's drunk. Stay, stay there, stay there. Don't stay there, please stay there. It's got a lap mile of his own, hasn't it? It's got one foot that's a bit loose, and the other one, stay, stay. There you have it, a critter from the film Critters, made out of bubble wrap, super skull paint, painted with acrylic paints, and covered in fur that found on floor. If you liked that, then please like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, don't worry, because next time I'll be making a time machine, and you'll be able to go back in time and not watch this. But again, if you did like it, like and subscribe. I was Keith Lemon. If I don't see you for a week, I'll see you for a window. Join me next time for more Keith Lemon's crafty doings, our best. He's down there. There he is. Right, I think I'll go watch Critters. See ya. Or subscribe and whatever. I don't know what you say. <laughs>